That's why they keep going in. Why do people keep going in? Because they can't find jobs in the private sector. That's why. Okay, why is that? Because the, government, because the government has not been able to generate enough jobs. No. I know that. Jobs. I know that. I agree. I know that. I just said it because of you. Because we got disconnected from Blog Talk Radio. Uh, your show now. Press one to hear important instructions. Press two. What a pain in it. Here's you're calling back into a live show. We are reconnecting you now. We're reconnecting you now. Thank you very much. Well, if anybody. Uh, us on Blog Talk Radio. My response is... You did. We are back. Now, most of the people probably the left. Number is 646-595-3275. That's if you're on... Doesn't matter. Anybody can call that number. Even, even Zeno or sure. whatever? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a phone number. It's a phone. You're dialing a phone number. What's the difference? What phone you're dialing? You're not, you know, you don't have a special phone? Well, one of them goes right to the White House. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. We're in tune and in touch with uh, the president. Oh, that's a xenophone. I'm only allowed to give it out once a night. Otherwise, you got to shoot people, right? Yep. Anyway, so we're, we're having a very mild conversation here between Mark and myself. He keeps calling me a Republican. I'm actually voting for Johnson. I've decided to become a libertarian. You're entitled. Mm -hmm. The latest, uh, the latest poll shows uh, Jill Stein polling at twenty-two percent. Who? Jill Stein from the Green Party. I like her a lot. I listen to her. I like her too. She should have combined with Bernie. Two of them, uh, they, 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 they still might. Bernie dropped out of the Democratic Party already. You know that, right? Yeah. He declared himself a independent, and he said if he wants to, he could run now. And I think a lot of them moved over to the Green Party because they're the closest thing to his feelings. You know, they're very. It's a very liberal movement. Very clean. You know, it's a nice movement. Environment, environmentalists. The socialists, I guess. To a point. Who knows? This is a very strange year this year. But Bernie supporter, supporters go in for the Green Party. Let them win. Make the Green Party win. That'll be interesting. Well, they did, they did call the, uh, the Democrats leaving the convention. And those who are Sanders supporters, supposedly 85% said that they would back Clinton. You know, but that still leaves 15%, which is a rather large number. And... Uh, in a race where you have four parties running, that could be the deciding factor, you know, the uh, Green Party and uh, the Libertarian Party. Well, don't, they don't draw a lot, but they could draw enough. What? They do not draw a big, you know, a big amount of people, but they well, probably yeah. draw enough to hurt somebody. Just think about it, you know, I mean, she really uh, hasn't gone out and speaking tours the way the Republican and Democratic uh, candidates do. First of all, she doesn't take any money from causing anybody. Okay? Uh, it's a very uh, sparse campaign. You know, very frugal. Well, she has no money. But, but the people are uh, flocking there, you know? And uh, she, has, she has no money. What do you expect? We also lost
We're both we're both broadcasting the same. Everything seems equal. Pain in the ass, pain in the ass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you're hearing Mark. I know you're being heard on Spreaker. I'm, I'm thinking you're being, heard, you're hearing him on uh, Block Talk Radio. On, uh, I don't know what you're hearing him on. How can I be heard on Spreaker and not Block Talk? That's what I don't understand. I have no idea. I can't answer him. But you're also being heard on the uh, Xeno Live. What do, you, uh, what do you think of uh, Chelsea's introduction? It was okay. It was, you know, it was, oh, it was a daughter introducing her mother. Don't forget, she's not in the public eye. She's not used to public speaking. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I keep. Well, well, I don't know. Xeno Live keeps going dead. I don't think we're going to bother with Xeno Live tonight. We have no problems with what we have. Maybe if you got rid of Zeno, people would be able to hear me. Who knows? No, then it doesn't make a difference. Zeno's got has been gone for a little bit. Well. You know, I just had a, a terrible thought. I mean, the, the two conventions are over with. And next week, obviously, we'll be talking more about. I think we're, we're, wait a second, we're off Spreaker also. No, no, we're on Spreaker, sorry. Next week, I'm sure we'll be talking more about the Olympics than we will about politics because, uh, you know, politics may be taking a back seat except for television commercials. You know, I, I think uh, the Democrats have a real winning commercial with uh, the kids watching television and they see Trump on TV. And he talks about shooting somebody, or he talks about the reporter who has, uh, you know, a disability, and he makes fun of him, you know, or he talks about Megyn Kelly with blood coming out of her wherever. You know, this is not the image you would want for a president, and that's, and they hit it right on the nose. That's perfect. A lot of people do want an unfortunate. They want somebody that's crude and just speaks the way he wants to. That's his whole campaign. You may not like it, but that's what he's doing. I wouldn't want to trust him with the nuclear codes, so I'll tell you. You think he's going to be a different person? Well, first thing. He is what you get. First thing is there's more than one person that has to turn the key. Am I right? I mean, you're talking about SAC when it comes to launching a missile. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about the, the nuclear football that's carried wherever he goes. I don't... One person pushes that button... Well, I doubt if anybody's going to do it. He seems to be more of a uh, isolationist than anybody else. That's what the that's why a lot of people don't like him. He wants to be left alone. He wants to 
He doesn't want to do any nation building. He doesn't want to do any nation building. Well, you think we should be doing nation building? Well, I just said he doesn't want to do nation building. I just said, he, and I said, and I said he does not want to do nation building. I'm just talking. And you said if he doesn't want to do nation building, he's in the wrong job. That doesn't make sense. I said nation building. I'm, you know, I can say more than one, two words at a time. I think I mean, you may not understand me, or the audience, may, audience may not understand me, understand me, but I understand myself. Look, you got two people running for office, very much opposites. You got two parties that are very much opposites. You know, you got Republicans that are crossing to that to become Democrats. And you have Republicans who said that, you know, they, uh, Eric Erickson, you know, for one, uh, a bunch of other, uh, somebody named Five Herbs or something, uh, said they don't agree on any of Hillary's policies or Barack Obama's policies. But they did say they very much like the positive attitude, the patriotic attitude coming out of the Democratic convention, which was sorely lacking in the Republican convention. The Republican convention was all doom and gloom. Yep. That's what he's running on, the doom and gloom. He's running as the, uh, inf you know, as the, uh, as the, you know, he's a supporter of the police department. You know, he, he wants to make sure policemen are safe, our soldiers are safe. He's very much into trying to fix the VA, which nobody's done in years. The VA has been run, run down through all these years when Obama's been in office. People waiting maybe weeks and months to get appointments to see doctors under the Obama watch. So, you know, this is what his... He's, you know, he's saying that shouldn't be happening to our soldiers. And how can you disagree with him something on something like that? You You're not listening to me? No. Why? Why? Don't, don't give me that face. Just give me an answer. I said, why? I said, the VA has really fallen apart. -E VA, v Veterans Administration, okay. has fallen apart. You got lines. You got. You have to wait months to go to see a doctor. All right, and how, well, that's getting better. But how long did it take him to uh, come across with the money he promised the VA before? From that. Uh, he. That, uh, he came, but he came across. He came across. 